Welcome to Coffee and Conversation, where nothing is off the table. I'm Jackie. And I am Sika. And we're going to be discussing things we believed in as kids and some, some of them that we still believe and some that have pretty much gone away, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if much has gone away. In Maybe terms for of, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm still kind of superstitious. Yeah. I don't know about you. Not really. Not at all. Not really. Not one bit. I don't think so. We'll like, have to see. I guess I'm we'll, looking at you. we'll have a conversation about this and see. But I don't think I am very superstitious. Okay, so let's start with one that at least both of us believed in. Which is the whole... Okay, so this one here is rooted back into our childhood where our parents told us that if we went to bed... With the lights on. We would grow up... Ugly. ugly. <laughs> so that was one way to make sure that we keep the lights off. I didn't keep them off. You still kept the lights on? I kept the lights on, but what I did is I just covered my face with my covers. Oh, that's clever. I was like, I'm blocking it, so it can't get that's to clever. me. That's clever, but I mean, we ended up closing the lights anyways when we came into the room, because your bedtime was earlier than us. Yeah. But we closed the lights. But when I was younger, I believed in it 100%, so I would close the lights and cover myself. So that I don't grow up. Any light, so no light yeah, can come not in. So if someone turned on like the bathroom light since it was close to the bedroom, you're like, oh, I'm exactly. covered, we're good. No. Yeah, I, I, I just wanted to avoid growing, growing up ugly. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's what we were told as kids. Yeah. It's like, that's the worst thing that can happen to you if you keep the lights on. Yeah, you're going to grow up ugly, which is really weird when you think about it. Why would that happen? Like, why... Why didn't we ask for the science behind it? I, what, science? I was like a four-year-old, hey, mom, dad, what's the science? I, you told me that up until I was like 10. I don't know, because I wanted you to have the lights on. Why? For what reason? What did hey, we do? I had to believe in something. Are you paying electricity? You no. were not paying electricity, <laughs> so let me keep the light I don't on. Know. Is it rooted really in paying bills? I don't know. It's superstition. So some of you may or may not know, we grew up in a very Egyptian household. So everything that we believed in, everything that we grew up with is very rooted in Egyptian culture, in Egyptian superstition. Yeah. So one of the other things in terms of Egyptian superstition that at least I remember as a kid is running, not running, walking with scissors and opening and closing them. I didn't know it had to do with walking. I was just told never to open and close them unless it's against paper. Yeah, so you don't have to walk with it. But in Egyptian culture, you can't open and close scissors for no reason unless it's cutting something. Yeah, because or else you're going to be cutting spirits and making them angry. Yeah, so you're saying that in your lap and you can't even keep a straight face. So yeah, the idea is you can't cut the air because the air has spirits. spirits. Yeah, and then you would be upsetting them because you're bothering them and cutting them for no reason. And you're creating bad luck. Yeah, which is, I think it's silly. Like, I don't... I mean, I, I to a certain extent, I do believe in the spirit realm. Yeah, but I don't think they're going to get pissed off about that. It's not like I'm actually cutting them. Like, they're, they're, they're thin air. They're, like not there <laughs> they're not there that's that's lack of validation that is not true if i did it to your skin then yeah because you're here and you can bleed from it but they're if they're if i can do this like and wave my hand around they would be as pissed off so that means i wouldn't be allowed to move but you're not cutting them no but then i keep pushing them but maybe that's it's... as annoying as having something waved in your face as you do to me usually <laughs> but maybe it's not rooted necessarily in the the motion Maybe it's rooted in the type of metal that scissors were made in back then. I don't know what the root cause of any kind of superstition is. So then moving is. your tripod would be annoying to them. See, because now we're getting into hypothetical. Yeah, but now, yeah, but you're talking you're about... You're giving me attitude, and I didn't even make that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're doing hypothetical metal. I'm saying hypothetically. These are things we believe. Let's, let's get on to the next okay. one that we believe in, and then we can have the debate. Because you're acting as though I made the problem. Yeah, well, you're being like, well, the metal maybe. I'm being the devil's advocate. Yeah, here. okay. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> well, there was even a superstition that I put on you. Yeah, which was, um, I do this thing with my nose, which makes it look like a bunny moving its nose. Yeah, it's not flaring. It's no, really it's really like a muscle that I'm moving, I guess, around my nose. And for people who are actually uh, watching this instead of listening to it, like it kind of just looks like... Yeah, like that. It's a bunny nose. And I did it a lot as a kid. I still do it now sometimes. And my sister said, if you do that, you're going to create like a muscle there and it's going to look like you have an ugly nose. <laughs> That's what I thought. Honestly, I thought that the more you work a muscle, the larger it gets because it's just... <laughs> but you be did you believe it or not? No, I didn't. Not one bit? No. Okay, so it's not a lie. You believed it. No, but I mean, you, you tried to implement it so much. I think I believed in it, though. You believed in it. <laughs> yeah. 
you were you were trying to like put that on me. You're like, oh, you're gonna be so like weird nose looking ugly thing. I 100 percent believed in it. My nose still looks the same. <laughs> yeah, nothing nothing's changed. So nope. luckily, that's a lie I believed in. Yeah. I don't know false. why you made yourself believe that. You just saw me do it and you're like, let me stop her. Because I'm growing up and I'm thinking the way to gain muscle was technically to do a repetitive move. Right? I guess. It's logical it's to a child's nose. brain. It's not like I'm adding weights to my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Put weights on my nose, like just pierce, pierce both sides, add like a heavy <laughs> metal nose. and just a, mm, yeah, like... <laughs> Move my nose up and down Working enough to make it work. Oh, yeah, sore. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I can uh, feel, oh, I I feel the burn. bridge of my nose. <laughs> that's a nice nose workout. Oh, yeah, that's the best nose workout. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> that's terrible. Weirdo. <laughs> You're weird. I think we're both weird. You tried to make me believe it, but I was like, nah. Hey, you know what? Sometimes th- th- these things are just imposed on us, and other times we impose them on ourselves. Yeah. I, at least that's... You impose that totally on yourself. <laughs> Well, I mean, okay, other things that we believed in as kids, you specifically reminded me about the seeds in your stomach. Yeah, I was afraid that if I had seeds in my stomach and I drank water, it would start growing. Obviously, I didn't realize that it takes longer to grow things, but yep. (laughs) Yeah, I I think for us, uh, it was fish because we ate a lot of fish back in Egypt and they said, don't drink water. Fish is gonna swim. Yeah, the fish is gonna swim in it's your tummy. It's cooked. It's, but we didn't know and that. Cut up. <laughs> I know, but we didn't get that. I don't know why we just didn't get that. It's so weird. Why do adults do that? Like try to make us believe weird shit that doesn't actually. I'm curious. I mean, I think if I were ever a parent, there are things that I would say to my kid to get them to do things that are not necessarily bad for them. I mean, okay, I know you disagree in this part, but, um, oh no, I, I can't, I don't think I want to say that. In what? case there's little ones listening. Um, I'm not going to say this one. What is it? Now I want to There's fictional characters that we discuss. Oh yeah. Right? And we tell people to believe in them to a certain extent. So I'm not going to go into that direction too much, but we do have these concepts that are based around childhood and they're not true, but they do bring certain joy and order. What order. joy uh-huh. does a fish swimming in your stomach bring? Because I think that would bring anxiety. Maybe you just like, oh my god, you- something's <laughs> moving in there. Like, especially if your stomach bubbles, you're like, or if you burp, the fish taste, and then you're oh. like, something's moving in my stomach. Oh no, fish. Like, But then maybe you just don't want the kid to puke. If they drink too much water, I think you want them to eat more rather than to dilute their stomach acid. I don't know. I like drinking water when I'm eating, so I'm the worst person. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I wonder. Hmm. Because some things are for order. Yeah, but I mean, I don't think all kids are for joy. I don't think all kids drink too much water when they're eating either. Maybe juice. I guess I don't know. I'm not. I know, I know that there would be some order and some joy kind of into those lies or make-believe things. I don't see joy into that. Well, that's because you disagree fundamentally with the concept because yeah. we didn't grow up with that. Yeah. So for our North American listeners, in Egypt, we have a completely different culture surrounding There's the no holidays. joy for it. <laughs> no, there's no joy. There's no, no joy. We just, we grew up on completely different beliefs, yeah. knowing, you know, who, who brings what. Again, I don't want to say it in case there's little ones around. So for us, I don't think I would ever tell my little ones any of these things. Personally. I and I don't think, think I would you would. Eat. No. No, I, I, you're not the type of person to do that. No. So, I, break, I break joy. <laughs> would, but if you wanted lights to be off, would you use the same excuse our parents used? No. No? No, just get them a nightlight instead so they feel secure. Most okay. times you keep the light on because you're afraid of something. Yeah. Just get them a nightlight. <laughs> just get them a piece of piece of like you know. Just give them peace of mind. That's true. No. That, yeah, that I, makes sense? yeah. I I think it makes sense. Just, you can buy one from the dollar store. It's not expensive. Just get them a nightlight and close the bigger light. That's it. So I'm wondering why didn't they do that in the first place for us? Because our parents are cheap. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we also had this. Um, I think a lot of Egyptian superstition comes in the form of, um, like spirits and gods. Yeah. And one of the other ones that I still do to this day for no logical reason, 
other than habit is you can't have your shoe facing upside down. Yeah. So anytime you have your shoes or slippers, they can't be facing upwards because apparently, again, according to Egyptian lore, superstition, and culture, is that it's an insult to God because you're, it's like you're putting your dirty feet to God, to yeah. someone's face. Yeah. So I don't have any issue with that. I mean, like I had to follow that rule when I lived with, you know, our parents, but like now I have cats. They just tumble everything around and just- And you don't fix it right back at all? No. See, I do. I don't. I don't know why I still do. It's probably just ingrained in you. (laughs) And probably, and I still even, I got packed into believing the superstitions too. I just mentioned them once. And and he does it now too. Well, he's respecting your wishes. (laughs) (laughs) He is, but he believes them even more so than I do. Oh really? Some things I want to break. So another superstition is the sweeping at night. Yeah, I sweep at night, I don't care. Okay, see, so I want to sleep. But I don't understand the logic behind sweeping at night. I don't understand the why behind it. Because I don't think I was ever told why. I was just told, don't do it. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if I ever had a logical explanation, but it had to do again with night spirits and pushing them. So there's like this idea of pushing things and cutting things. So that means you can't live at night if you don't want to bother. And just don't spirits. do anything after sunset. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. You're just going to lay there and be like, okay... Can't do anything because spirits. Yeah, because spirits. Because spirits. They take over my house. Yeah. (laughs) Don't breathe too loud. The spirits will be angry. Oh, no. (laughs) Dang those spirits. Well, I mean, the other thing um, with spirits. Actually, no, this one's not spirits, but it still has to do with sweeping because I want to sweep at night. But because I told Pat once. Not to? You know, the superstition behind it. He will not do it. And if he sees me grab a broom... In the evening, he's like, no, it's dark outside. I'm like, yeah, it's not that dark. There's a little, you know, I'm, I'm trying to... <laughs> to make it okay. You're to... like, no, no, it's not so bad. Look, there's a little bit of light. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. He's like, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Won't. I'm like, okay, how about the vacuum? Be... And he's okay with the vacuum. But it's doing the same thing. Technically. But I mean, they didn't have vacuums back in superstitious lore. So you can kind of bypass it. Yeah, but I mean, if sweeping is bothering... The spirit, I feel like vacuuming is loud and like more aggressive, right? It's like, <laughs> like, just like, what if it vacuums the spirit? But you see, that's where I'm saying, like, what if these superstitious lures were based on the main material it was made of? Maybe brooms back then were made out of, I don't know, horse hair, and horse hair symbolized something in the middle of the night. Or, you know, so iron then, for scissors, you know, so maybe. In that case, it's not applicable to today. That's what I'm saying. In theory, maybe that's okay. what it's based on. Okay. 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 You're like I can see. I guess <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to look more into detail and see if there's anything about that. Then. Yeah, we'll have to dig because when I looked, it was still very on a superficial level, superstitious, superficial level. I think everything is pretty superficial when it comes to superstition. Yeah, most times, and especially Egyptian ones. I find, it's I'm, mostly like if you ask them a reason like because you're like what do you mean because like give me like why because just because don't question your don't, traditions exactly it's just because, just because. no i want to know why i want to know why behind it no don't ask questions because because what because just because that's it that's <laughs> end it of story exactly oh i didn't mention by the way during coffee and conversation we do have beverages I finished mine. You did finish yours because we took quite a while to start up. Yeah, I'm, I'm drinking a raspberry. Well, it's called a cotton candy frappuccino from Starbucks. Yes, but you can't ask them just for that. Yeah, they so won't know what it is. So basically, it's just, vanilla. It's a vanilla bean with one pump of raspberry, mm-hmm. and it tastes really good. It does have this nice cotton candy flavor. It's very intense, though. Okay, back back to what I was saying. I just got distracted because so I'm like, I need to get hydrated. But the old coffee is not very hydrating. Regarding the other sweeping superstition, this one I really wholeheartedly believed in when I was a young teen was you can't sweep your feet. So if you accidentally were sweeping and then it brushed your feet. You accidentally were sweeping? Yeah. Do you accidentally sweep? You sometimes do if you just grab the broom and you're like, what is this doing in my head? <laughs> Sweep, 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 sweep. Um, English. I was like, what do you mean accidentally sweeping? Accidentally sweeping. Are you like hmm? waking up in the middle of the night and... I could. Accidentally start sweeping in your sleep? <laughs> okay, so let me backtrack what I was trying to say. Yes, go on. <laughs> Please, can... nothing gets past you. Please do. <laughs> Technically, when you're sweeping, 
and you accidentally brush your feet. Okay, there we go. You're happy now? Yes, I am. It is said, again, in Egyptian like lore, maybe it's applicable other worlds. So I'm, I'm curious to hear other, other people's opinions on this. But you would not get married. Because, I mean, of course, as a girl in Egyptian culture, you're supposed to get married. Yeah. This is your goal in life. Yes. Your absolute goal. I, I even remember growing up, my dad was saying, hey, you know, it doesn't matter if you continue school or not. You're going to end up growing up getting married. Yeah. And staying at home anyways. Yeah. Dad's and telling I, us to go to church and meet doctors. Yeah. To marry. Like, like, no. like, wow, <laughs> father. I knew something was just wrong, even as little as I was like eight. I was like, that's not what I want. What if I want to be Indiana Jones? You know, why yeah. can't I be Indiana Jones? Why do I have to look at another person, like a guy? Yep. And be, be like, Indiana Jones and be like, this is my Indiana Jones. Why can't I be my own Indiana Jones? Because Egypt yeah. tells you, you you should grow up and, I guess, what's the word? Count on a man only yeah. to provide everything while you stay at home with children. And there was a lot of pressure on me, specifically. There was a lot of pressure on me, too. When I, I was know, 16, but... I was trying to get married. Not, not I was trying, but they were trying to marry me to a cousin. Like, I know. No, Which cousin father. was it? I don't know. I didn't even ask. I was like, not happening. I think it's the one who dropped the watermelon downstairs. Oh, I gross. Think. I think it was him. I'm sorry if you're listening. Sorry, cousin. dude. <laughs> <laughs> we're not saying gross you. We're saying gross... Marrying a cousin, yeah. Because that's still very normal in Egypt, yeah, marrying is. cousins. Yeah. But for me, what I'm saying there was a lot of pressure on me is because I was legitimately the eldest girl, girl yeah. in the entire family. Yeah. So everyone suddenly was much younger than me in the family as a female. So I had to lead by example, by marrying and having kids so that the others could. Could? Yeah. Obviously. Meanwhile, both of us broke the mold. Yep. Both of us refused to marry family. <laughs> well, yeah, one, that's another thing. I had, I think, two or three cousins propose to me. Oh my god, no. Straight from Egypt no. while we were living here in Canada. And I was yeah. like, oh no. And then at one point, even dad brought over a picture of this guy. I'll never forget. A picture of a guy, completely bald, looking miserable. And he's like, this guy's father owns a company in Egypt. I'm like, marry okay. him. Where are you he's going like, with this? He's like, would you like to meet him? I'm like, why? No. <laughs> it's his father's company. What did he accomplish? What did he like? What's his favorite color? What's his favorite food? What are his quirks? Like, does he love anime? I want to know the important stuff. Does he game? No. No, but he's, his father has a big company. Okay. That's important. How is that important, father? Father. 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 I demand an explanation now. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh it. my gosh, I don't understand that culture. Yeah, it's it's really interesting because we broke the mold. We did. And we're I'm... like, no, we're picking our own men. Mm -hmm. And not just that, but they're not going to be Egyptian either. And they're not in our family. <laughs> and uh, furthest thing away. Yeah, we're not we're not about <laughs> inbreeding. Yeah. Thank you. No. Thanks. I want children that are. You Not know. as defective as we are. Yeah, because we're pretty defective. Oh my god, are we ever defective? I think, well, defective. <laughs> we have all these autoimmune diseases but and disorders. And... It's not like our parents were related. It's, I guess everyone in their family was related. Yeah, but here's the other thing. So on my mom's side of the family, right, she... Your mom? Well, our She's mom. not my mom. What is this? <laughs> Am I adopted? I'm saying to them. So our mom's side of the family was less inbred. Yeah, it was our Because they, have, they had green eyes. Yep. From Alexandria. And Alexandria was a port where there were many uh, foreigners that would come there. But however, our dad's side of the family. It's from Cairo. From Cairo. And just the amount of cousin on cousin action going on there was extremely frequent. Yeah. So when you look at the 23 and me, we're very purebred in terms of like Arabian descent. And it's thanks to our mom's side of the family that, that there's got these a little extra bit components of, of like diluting the inbred yeah. for us. So I think we just went for like the furthest thing to try and dilute more of it. Yeah. I, we're, we're trying just... to save it. The gene pool. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta fix it. <laughs> oh, no. It's 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 quite the thing. I would never uh, get with a cousin. Even though, technically, I'm outing myself here. Okay? What are you doing? I'm, I didn't do anything. I'm just outing myself. Because 
I spent more time in that environment thinking that marrying cousins was so normal. And it was back to coming here in Canada that I realized it was not normal, not okay. I did have crushes on cousins. It's I, thinking back on it now, I'm gagging. <laughs> okay? But I did have crushes on two different cousins. I think it's normal to have crushes on anyone that just looks good, but I mean, I wouldn't see myself having children with them. Yeah. Because, I mean, we've, we've had cousins that are cute, but I wouldn't... That's as far as it goes. Like, yeah. You're cute, dude, but that's, you know, that's where it ends. You're cute. That's it. Yeah, I think that, that's... For me, I'm outing myself because I grew up in that environment. I'm like, okay, that's normal. So, therefore, my feelings are okay. okay yeah. And I can allow myself to have and these feelings. And then you feelings. come to Canada and people are like, ew. Yeah, and just to be clear, those feelings, like, cleared up but past the age of nine. Like, I didn't have that after the age of nine. But you know how, like, when you have crushes on, like, yeah, adults. Yeah, well, that, like, but I, that's normal. I think that's normal as long as, you know, it's cleared out. It's, it's fine, <laughs> I guess. I guess so, too, <laughs> to a certain extent, right? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, I think these are also lies we were told, that marrying cousins is a normal thing. But to a certain it extent, is, it, it is normal over it there. It still is normal. It's normal over there. It's not normal where, like, you know, in Canada and stuff like that. It's not normal. It's not don't know even know if it's legal here i don't know but just to be clear we're talking first cousin yeah it's like it's like it's really like related you're really related it's not like your seventh cousin removed no it's, no it's you know your dad's sister's child like it's not and sometimes to the gross extent listen to this of let's say mom and dad have a brother and sister and those brother and sister got married the cousins of the two set of siblings that got married to each other could get married. So they're technically like siblings. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's say mom and her sister and dad and his brother, those other pairs got married. Well, yeah, that's happened in our family. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how close the inbreeding yeah. is yeah. at this point. Yeah. But so far, they've had kids. Yeah. And they're okay. They're better than us. <laughs> Well, we don't know yet. Yeah. Hopefully they're better we'll than see. us. We'll see where that goes. I like also, going back to uh, childhood, you, you had this idea that if you were in a bathtub. Yeah, I had to unplug the the bathtub. The drain? Yeah. Um, only when I was out of it because I was afraid I was going to get sucked in. <laughs> but who told you that? Was it a lie you told yourself? I think it was someone, I think it was one of my friend's parents who said that, um, when we were in the pool so don't get too close to the drains because you can get sucked mm -hmm. in because we used to try and go all the way down to the bottom to touch the bottom to see where the plug of the pool was kind of thing oh. right you would say don't pull the plug or don't get too close because if that plug unplugs you're getting sucked in oh. and then it just kind of went home with me to the tub <laughs> oh no so you transferred that knowledge <laughs> yeah so i can see the suction of a you know of a pool yeah a pool. it can be dangerous i guess but, but i guess wait. it depends how big you don't drain a pool that way <laughs> Well, there was plugs at the bottom of the pool, though, where we I think went. these are filters. Forgive us for those of you I who don't know, know pools. We've never grown up in a house. Yeah, no, we went to public pools. Yeah, so we don't know anything about the anatomy of plugs. I think those are anatomy just Anatomy of drinks. plugs. Yeah, anatomy of pools. I don't know anything about a pool. I don't know how much chlorine it yeah, takes. Yeah, no. But, but yeah, you no. empty a pool through draining it with a, a hose. Like, you take a hose that does, like, a suction into the into Yeah, the that street. would make sense, because that's where the water going to go. Right? That mother... <laughs> He told you that? Yeah. Okay, so the lies we believed as kids. Yeah. 100%. I don't now know. that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, where's the water going to go? It's just going to flood the underneath? And yeah. then just come back up and you're going to flood, like, I don't know, the... And it would be dangerous. What the it would be dangerous. Because it's chlorine. Not just that, but it would be dangerous. What if the plug got loose and people are swimming? Yeah. yeah. That's what he made me think. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so that, yeah. Okay. For, for those of you who know pool anatomy, let's know for sure, because I think... Damn, I feel really, like... Really dumb. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's not as bad as the superstitious. Uh, it's, oh, yeah. They're all bad. I mean, I know that wouldn't happen now, but I didn't think of as as far as like the pool, you know, suctioning us. I, di I didn't think as far as um, where the water goes. I was just like, oh, like, you know, plug, yeah. suction. Okay. I think like, now that we think about it more often. I feel like a stupid idiot. <laughs> oh, no. See, now I just want a Roomba to sweep the house at night. <laughs> you're like sweeping this. It, you're not sweeping. I'm not sweeping. It's a machine. It's a machine. So it's fine. It's fine. If someone has beef with the machine, take it out on the machine. Exactly. It's not, not your fault. fault. <laughs> it's 
machine sweeping. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> Dang machine. There's a way around it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little vacuum anyways. <laughs> so that, I, I, I think I want to invest in a Roomba at some point. I don't feel like it's a good idea. No? I've seen so many posts of people like putting a Roomba in and like their dog shits. And then the Roomba just gets in it and it spreads the shit everywhere oh, around no. the house. Yeah. But yeah. they have the ones now that mop. Oh, do they? I don't know. Yeah, they have the ones that sweep and mop. And it changes the water. How? It has a compartment where you just put the water and it releases the dirty water to take new water. Because what if you've got, like, a nano that has, like, diarrhea on the floor? And it's just spreading diarrhea. And it's, like, trying to refilter that water. But for the amount of times that that would happen. I don't trust it. When I have children, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have shit on their hands. And then they're going to be putting it on places. And then my room is going to pass over and just spread shit. Oh, that's gonna be like terrible. He'll be calling me Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. Oh no, I'm the one with the gag reflex. So am you. I. Really? When it comes to children? Oh. People say it's different when it's They're yours. Like, I don't care. It's nasty. That's bodily fluids. <laughs> I don't mind when it's animals. Like I've gotten used to it, especially working in like uh, animal clinics and hospitals. Like some animals are really well, like badly off. So the you know the smell can get pretty intense. But children? No. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. I The only time I was really around kids was me <laughs> for teaching. Well, teaching. Oh, yeah, it's true. I mean, especially when it comes to karate. I've had kids run, you know, when we're doing and our poop. exercises. No, and poop. I've seen nuggets of poo at the karate school. <laughs> oh, And I, I was like, what is that? And then I realized what it was. I'm like, oh. If it's a nugget, it's not so bad. It depends how dry it is, I guess. Yeah, but it smells poo. strong. Yeah, I mean, I deal with that with one of my cats because she's got long fur, and then it gets stuck to her bum, and she's she's she walks funny, so she has trouble getting out of the, the litter. So it just sticks to her bum, and then I have a nugget of poo on the floor. Like I feel cat nugget poos are okay, but they're dry. Yeah, they're, they're usually dry. dry, so it's not so bad. But I think Alex stepped on one the other day. Oh no, it was it squishy or dry? <laughs> no, also, no, her, her poop's pretty dry. Okay, like, it's, it's it holds nicely, thankfully. <laughs> and he just stepped on something dry. He's like. Uh, I look under his foot. It's like a like a dry cat nugget. Like, but children, it's not usually dry. Mm-mm. It's got nice moisture to it. And the stench. Yeah. The stench of that. Yeah. Okay, let's let's move away from that because oh. I can feel this. You know, like, like an acid. Nugget of, <laughs> a nugget of vomit. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go with one more. Um, superstitious belief that I still do believe in today. Is it the gifting knives? Yeah. So, and I think I think this one is a Romanian lore or superstition. I don't know. It was told to me by my karate teacher who is Romanian. And he said, never gift people knives. Because it'll break a relationship. Yeah, because it'll It'll sever. cut them out. Yeah, it'll cut people out of your lives. The people who give you the knife will no be cut longer. out of your life. Exactly. And oddly enough... It's happened to you. It's happened. The only person who's ever gifted me knives, and that was before I knew the superstition, the only person who ever gifted me knives is no longer part of my friendship circle. Yep. So, consequence? It's like we have to test it out with people we don't like. Can you buy me knives? <laughs> Just to see if or it you actually... gift them knives. You'd be like, "Hey, I have a set of knives. I don't need." Oh my god, that's a great idea. Right? Yes. Would you like? Nobody says no to knives. No. I can see you thinking about a specific person yes! right now, <laughs> and they love knives. <laughs> okay, you know what to do. Oh yeah, I'm buying <laughs> the most expensive set of knives. But I have an extra. I can't give them to no, you. No, you no. You so could just let them. me know where they are. You could and then one day them. they're just gonna disappear. Yeah, just take them when I'm not looking, or you know, if I go nap. Or yeah. shower. Yeah. So I'm going to be like, hey, Jackie, can you like prep the, you know, the room on the other side? And I, just, you know, I'm going to go to the bathroom downstairs. Yeah. And, you know, I'm going to just like <laughs> slip them into you. Don't cut yourself. No. They're very I, serrated. Oh, no. They're not packaged anymore. No, what no, is they're this? Not. They're like in the drawer. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're in, they're, they're technically in the drawer that we call the fuckery drawer. I don't know. You, and have, they, you have too many fuckery shits. Yeah. But you see, the only reason we call it that is because of Jenna Marbles. Because she said that this is called their fuckery jar. And I, lo- I was like, that's a great idea. Is that because it's got like a shit ton of fuck sh- fucked up shit? Yeah, it's just things. Dingbats and stuff. Okay. So you'll have knives. You'll have uh, a lighter. You'll have, I don't know, tape. You have so many drawers like that. It's going to take me forever to find them. 
I know exactly where it is, so I'll tell you. Yeah, okay. It's I'll, just that one. I'll take them in like seven months or something. Oh, no. That way you forget yeah, about it. <laughs> forget about it. Is there anything as an adult that you still adhere to, even though you know it's not logical? Uh, adults have it figured out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> you don't. No, I, I mean, no, we're, we don't. We're, we're older now and we don't have it figured out. Like, I no. still look for an adult. <laughs> When I'm confused, I'm just like, let me look for someone adultier than me to help me with this situation because I don't know what to do about this. Absolutely. I feel exactly like that. Like, I know I'm an adult, but I would love for an adult to help. <laughs> to help. You, you've got this adulting down, so can you help me adult with this smaller adulting thing that I'm not good at? Because, yeah. I, I need help. <laughs> I need help. Help me, please. I need, I need help figuring yeah. it out. And I think that's a whole other topic about how the education system has failed us yep. miserably. Yeah. As a teacher, I can definitely say that the education system is absolutely terrible. Yep. And I I've learned things I don't use anymore, and there's so many things I didn't learn in school that I should have. Like, mm-hmm. help me with taxes, guys. I Mortgage, don't know. What is this? Interest rates. Yep. All of that. Credit score. Like, mm-hmm. Real life that. skills, you know, the, the whole regurgitating of information is just absolute trash. Yep. And that's why even as a teacher, I really force my students to think critically. So I never give them my opinion in class. Never. So now when they ask me, like, what do you want me to write? I'm like, what do you think is going on here? Teach them how to adult. Yeah, I need them to think critically. Because no one teaches you how to adult but yourself. And it's sad. It's bad. And hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> So next time you feel like you're not sure what you're doing, look for an adult. Just, yeah, an adult to your adult. Yeah, have your adult help you adult. <laughs> you are my adult your adult. <laughs> your adult here. That level one higher adult. Yeah. Like I'm a level eight. Yeah. If you can yeah. find a level 10. Yeah, we need to find a level 10. We need to find, I don't think we have a level 10 anywhere near us. past is pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, he's pretty good at adulting. Okay. 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 I think for you, Alex, is slightly more adulty in some things. Of course. <laughs> in some things. In some things, but generally speaking, you're the adultier one. Yeah, when it comes to, like, I guess, um... But then you come to me for adultier things, and I don't know. Yeah, but, like, I need to find someone older than... Oh. What? Older than me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would love to have, like, a parental figure to adult for me. We, yeah. I would like that. That would be great. <laughs> now we're reminiscing. Yeah, I'm like, we don't have adults in our lives. <laughs> and I think this is where we're going to wrap up. Thank you for listening to Coffee and Conversation. You will be able to find us on iTunes and Spotify quite, quite soon. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. We're already there. We're already there. Awesome. You'll be able to find the links down below on YouTube if that's what you're looking for. Signing off, I'm Jackie. I am Sika. I am Sika. (laughs) Peace out, guys. Bye.